is up, everyone? How you guys doing? Welcome to Vader.com. My name is Mike Johnston from Mike'sLessons.com. Today we're going to be working on a simple sweep pattern uh, that's actually that looks quite complicated, but it's not really at all. It's very simple. And sweeps are just sweeping one limb uh, from one part of the drum set to the next part of the drum set. So it's fairly simple. I can sweep from my floor tom to my snare drum, or from my rack tom to my snare drum, and sweep around the drum set. So we're going to be taking a sweep based in double strokes, right, right, left, left. That sticking pattern will never change. Now, quick disclaimer guys, this is a fun lick. This is kind of like a, think of it as like a skateboard trick. It's fun to land a trick. That's what this is. This is not the stuff that gets you the gig. This is the stuff that gets you fired from the gig. So why do we learn this? Because we like to have fun on the drum set and we like to push ourselves and see, well, what can I pull off? You know, I played the gig last night, got paid, played solid, played pocket all night, but now I'm here by myself or with some of my drum buddies and I just want to have some fun. That's where this lick falls. I just want to make sure you guys know that. All right, so we're going to be sweeping in double strokes, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Uh, so let's just figure out the right hand first. The right hand is going to sweep from the floor tom to the hi-hat, so I'm going to have right, right, and then I'm going to sweep backwards, but instead of going hat to floor, I'm going to go snare to floor, okay? And that'll, that'll give us our backbeat later on when we finish this thing. So I'm going to go floor to hi-hat, then snare to to floor tom. Now remember the sticking pattern is right, right, left, left. So in between there, there's a left, left sweep. And so I've got right, right is going to be floor to hi-hat. Left, left is going to be hi-hat to floor. Right, right is going to be snare to floor. And left, left is going to be hi-hat to floor. So each hand by themselves, the right hand goes floor, hat, snare, floor. Floor, hat, snare, floor. In between that, we've just got hat, floor with the left hand. Hat, floor. So let's try just the hands by themselves really slow. Now that, I know that seems a little excessively slow, but you really need to just kind of hang in there for a while, 5, 10, 20 minutes, and let your body memorize that pattern. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to, let's consider those to be 16th notes, okay? So 1, E, and uh, 2. Remember I said that snare is going to become our backbeat. 1, E, and uh, 2, E, and uh, 3, E, and uh, 4, E, and uh. So now we've got snare on 2 and 4. But I want to make this a 32nd note bass groove. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a bass drum in between every single hit. So right kick, right, kick, left, kick, left, kick, right, kick, right, kick, left, kick, left, kick. Let's give it a shot. You might notice too that I'm doing like a little excessive arm movement. Well, this is a show off lick. Like this has show to it. So you actually kind of want to work on that a little bit and make because I mean you could definitely go. I'm in the studio. But it's like, but no, this is this isn't for the studio. This is for you just having fun and hamming it up on the kit. So you want to get a little bit of that excessive arm arm movement into the lick to give it some showmanship. Now our goal tempo for this is going to be. 30 second notes at 70 beats per minute. So that would sound like this. So you're going to have to work this up. Um, I'll, I'll play it for you and just make that your goal tempo. Speed freaks out there. Let's give it a shot at 80 beats per minute. Alrighty, 
guys, I hope that gives you something to work on. Please check out the new Vader Mike Johnston 2451 model. It's my new signature stick. It comes in maple and in hickory. It's right in between a 5A and a 5B. So if a 5A is a little thin for you and a 5B is a little thick for you, try the 2451. It's going to work perfect for you. It's got a nice half barrel tip that won't dent your drum heads, but gives you tons of response off the cymbals. We will see you next time. Peace.